All right, so we're back. I spent probably an hour and a half. And this is what I came up with. It was very difficult. And based on a design from another game I played. So yes, yeah, so currently we've got no weapons. And we've only got a crew of three. So we're gonna... Basically gonna go and try and do some missions. To try and get a bit of money, put some weapons on it. So the missions I was gonna do is I notice... Uh, we've got a mission here. The light in the darkness. So let's go there. So something, something I noticed. So yeah, like I was saying in the last one, last video when talking about the shipbuilding, you have to go to individual star systems, like se like not systems, but like regions to unlock specific parts. So I went to the Eklund Stroud uh, Star Yard, which basically meant all the parts I was using for Eklund Stroud, which is kind of cool, but at the same time, it's a bit tedious. How you liking that laser gun? Pew, pew. Don't mock me. But yeah, so hopefully as like I progress more, I'll be able to... I never found this place. What? I did. Let's see if she will give me some money. You have another story for me? Captain Petrov the scow was robbed. I already interviewed an ex-pirate about the robbery. But she was as reliable as good coffee around here. So you were there when it went down? What were you doing there? I was the one robbing him. Oh boy. Anything you tell me as a source, I won't reveal. But, there's limits to my journalistic integrity. That said, I've heard maybe the captain had it coming. Tell me about this Captain Petrov. I've heard he's a bit of an eccentric. What was your impression of him? Uh, he was a hoarder and liked to connect to anything strange or unusual. I would have loved to have seen it. I'm sure it would make a good story right there. No one seems to know exactly what was stolen. But everyone agrees it was valuable. Care to shed some light on it? It was an unusual artifact dug up on some planet. Artifact, you say? I've been hearing whispers about those lately. Last question. About, and I'm quoting, a zoo gone wild. The other source swore up and down that alien creatures got out of their cages and went on a rampage. Please, please, please tell me she was telling the truth. It's got to be some aurora-induced hallucination. That's 100% correct. Some days, it is worth it to get out of bed. I love it. This is just a plain old good story. Check the news feed for it later. And here's your payment. Thank you. Uh, we got another one? If you have a news story for me, I'm very happy to pay your fee. I've got information on the Galbank robbery. You certainly get around. I'm surprised that branch has any customers left the number of times it's been held up. But I thought the Rangers had finally managed to get a handle on it. I heard there was a standoff. That true? There was a standoff, all right. I'd say I'm surprised, but this is my total lack of surprise face. What happened to the robbers? The Shaw Gang? I negotiated with the gang and talked them down. You did what? I mean, you're well spoken, but a hostage negotiator? I'll do some research and make sure that checks out. Wow. These things are often messy. Any customers or gal bank staff get hurt? Nope. That's really good news. Usually, well, it's a different kind of story. You were there. You were involved in resolving it. Any comment on the Freestar Rangers? Having another high-profile robbery in their own backyard is a bit of a black eye. Desperate people do desperate things. The rangers kept her from turning into a massacre. Huh. That's really good to know. Stories like this always fire up public outrage and appetite. Thanks for the interview. And take this. Thanks. My source is back. Here to report anything else? I have a feeling we'll see. Now we're good. Need some money. Let's 
let's go collect his debt. I have no weapon, so if we get into a fight, this is going to be very interesting. Debt isn't the same as the real thing. We can't help. Yeah, no. I just need to get on the planet. You're not getting out of this. Can I ram it? <laughs> this is a good idea. We're gonna ram the fucker. Come here, big boy. Hello. You won't live to regret this. Why are they not shooting at me? Free Star Collective owes you, stranger. That got a little too exciting. I know it wasn't your but you're free to go. Thanks. I did fuck all. All right, where are we going? Military outpost. We need money. So probably we'll do this mission. I might have to swap. Might swap ships at some point back to the big one. I did. I think you intimidate me again. Yeah, that's exactly what I think. I'm gonna give you one chance. Leave. Let some other errand boy do Gullbank's dirty business. Otherwise, it's not gonna end well for you, my friend. Gullbank will never ever give up. doesn't have to get ugly all right all right took me ages to collect this but i just want a decent night's sleep and here debt repaid now get the hell out of here back to landry all right Yeah, I'll probably swap back to the other ship, potentially. Because 
because I feel like I feel like for the moment it's not a bad ship, but it needs a lot more done to it. Where's Galbank? My band. Hello. You got Mr. Maliki to pay up alive, no less. Now this, this is what I was hoping for. My superiors are thrilled, ecstatic. We'll need to convince them. I bet, you silver tongue devil, you. Listen, I'm really feeling this working together, aren't you? So if you want another delinquent, let me know. We'll keep this going. But here is your well-deserved finder's fee. Not doing a little extra for handling it well. 6k, yeah, we'll I keep doing these. So chalk this one up to a very fine but clearly overworked credit checker that accidentally approved a sizable loan. Then turned out to be murdering space scum. A real black guy, I know. I'm thinking conversation is not really going to be an option on this one, friend. I'm trying to have spacer. Well, you, you are really something, you know. Here's all the details, a and thanks. Ganymede? We need to head there, swap ships to our big boy. Anything I can help you? Need some work done? Okay. Look at our perks. Got three skill points. I, I have an idea potentially. I will be back. All right, I am back. Did a little bit of fiddling, but a modification on the ship. I was basically trying to, I was going to like revert back to a previous save and basically rebuild the ship kind of piece by piece. But then I realized that's very tedious. And also I don't think it would have actually worked now we're jumping to Seoul to kill the delinquent, get some money. Time to die. Oh. When you need this, this is something we're going to discuss. All I have is energy weapons. Some lasers. Yes. 
Mr. Scout. I feel like uh, turreted weapons on this wouldn't be too bad. Shields are all fine. Those shields you wanna come back? Shields, please come back. My hull's pretty tanky, motherfucker. Like it. Fuck me, you're fast. Let's get these. We're gonna try and board this if we can. Power engine. Let's try and take out the engine, shall we? Engine's out. Let's dock, shall we? Kind of a busy board and ship, you know. Gonna make you pay. Did you go? ship Looks a pretty small ship. Right, let's go. I'm gonna blow this thing to Kingdom Come. Cockpit. Let's blow it out of the sky, shall we? Do a little bit more killing, shall we? Go turn in this. I'm quite close to fully maxing out the ship, the piloting. It's nice that um, you can kind of get by with singular weapons, although <laughs> saying that that guy was pretty weak. So, when you have a... All right, let's speak. Forgive me for pulling you aside again, but well, there's so much to process right now. The emissary, the hunter, the unity, an entire multiverse. I can't even begin to wrap my head around it all. I don't know where to begin. The fact that we are the origin of the Starborn. 
humans literally reborn by entering the unity. The same, yet different. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I feel like most of the knowledge we've amassed in the last few centuries about the universe has just been made obsolete. Knowledge of a cause this point in the first place. Yes, that's exactly right. Humans are oh, I, I didn't mean like that. Their own success. We've been pushing further and further outwards from our home, when we should have spent more time being prepared for the consequences. Our current problem relates closely to the nature of humans as a species. This rushed curiosity has led us to enter the unity and become starborn. But it has made a difference. Here we are, caught in the middle of some sort of needlessly violent crusade between the hunter and the emissary. You'd think that a technologically advanced society would have evolved past petty squabbling over something like the artifacts. It almost makes me wonder if entering the Unity has done them more harm than good. No, no, that's not it at all. When you pass into whatever lies beyond, we don't know what will become of you. Will you remember your life as you knew it? Will the hunger to collect the artifacts consume your life like it's clearly consumed the Starborn? I'm just as curious to find out what's on the other side as well, but that's not the point. As the chair of Constellation, I want all of us to have this opportunity to explore the Unity. It would be the pinnacle exploration of our lives. However, after we enter the Unity, we'll likely evolve. You and I, as we stand here right now, will essentially cease to exist. The honest truth is that, well, <laughs> You're the love of my life, and I can't bear to lose you. I'm not sure. I'm guessing based on what we've learned. Even if I accompany you into the Unity, the question still remains. Would we know each other anymore? Even if we did, would we care? Part of what I do as chair of Constellation is weigh the costs of our expeditions. And this one, oh, the cost is extremely high. I do love you. That's why this decision is tearing me apart. Listen, I realize nothing that I say is ever going to change your mind or diminish the enticement of this incredible opportunity. All I ask is that you research the facts before you blindly stumble off into the unknown. Thank you. Well, I suppose I've ruined the moment again, haven't I? <laughs> I'm getting quite good at that lately. I'll let you get back to whatever you were doing. Just think what we discussed. I know I will. To be honest, just weighing in the both sides. The emissary, in one way, he's trying to stop people from getting it because the wrong people might get it. Which, if that's the case, that makes me think that maybe you do keep some of your, you know, livelihood. But then the the hunter is right at the same time too because he's like, why should we have rules? Personally, I probably, if the option is available, I'll destroy it so that no one else can get it. I mean, one pirate's unfortunate demise logged. We're making space safer, fulfilling our civic obligation. <laughs> this is great, right? This job is a bit of an unknown. A small company CEO suddenly disappeared, defaulting on a very serious loan we gave her. No one knows if she embezzled the funds as stranded somewhere or heck was kidnapped and we have a lead on where she is please 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 try and handle this delicately 
I feel better already. Good luck. Where's the house? Away we go. But yeah, I feel like if the, um, I hope there's a third option kind of in the middle. Hey, landing pad. Come on, Sarah, work on killing them. Housekeeping.
do your worst. Haven't you had enough? No problem. Ah, back to the ship. Looks like we're climbing through the ship. This is the entrance. It's engineering. It's the engineering there. I think it is. Cool, we got engineering here. We got storage with an armory. Nice. The research lab. More storage options. Not bad, not bad. This is the med bay. Nice. And then we got the crew quarters. And we up again. Look at this down. Not sure what that room is. Okay, this is the CIC. Just here for a chat. Propeller. Okay.
Let's get out of here. God damn it. You think the amount of work I do for Galbank did like cut me some money? You know? Be like, oh yeah, so um about that mortgage. Sorry. Let's drink it. successful venture and you save the day too <laughs> i wish every job was so win-win here's your pay let me know if you want another assignment damn right i do it's a real pleasure to see you again we have to try every time someone skips out those credits just don't go away those are credits that could have been a loan for a mom and pop trying to start a hydroponic farm. Or they could take a bite out of our share prices. I mean, all sorts of retirement funds pay out a little less. Now, I know it seems, well, hopeless. But what we do matters. All right. Mr. Man. You're only as safe as your. I would never dream of selling. Yes, by all means. Have... Okay. Right, I'll be back. We're going to just sell some stuff. Good luck on all your adventures. All right, I just sold a load of stuff, and now we're heading to the funeral service for Barris. I need every. Losses at a small group like ours, especially hard. Constellation is no stranger to loss. Our own founder left on an expedition and never returned. It is easy to talk about the glory and excitement of breaching into the unknown, of lighting the darkness. But it is harder to stare into the face of the cross. That all of our progress is built on top of the lives of those who dared. And that we owe them the courage to continue our work. Sarah, if anyone else would like to say a few words, want to say a few words, please. Hello, everyone. Barrett was my friend. He was more than just an eccentric astrophysicist. He was the best among us. And I'm going to miss him. I'll do everything I can to honor his memory. Thank you. If anyone else wants to say something. Hey. How are you holding up? I don't really feel anything. About you, are you? It's it's not really going to hit me until later. Right now, I just need everyone else to be okay. Got nothing. So instead, I thought I would quote something that gave me comfort a long time ago. 
is God real? The more proper question would be, is reality divine? Existence itself is a mystery which yearns to be uncovered. What is goodness but a comparison to the good? What is existence but a participation in being? For where the diversity of the universe inspires awe and wonder, it exists only in contrast to a simplicity so pure that it may only be understood as primordial and even divine. Our essence is what was imagined by its mind, but what we consider imagining and what we consider mind are in fact so far beyond our understanding that even these metaphors are like the tiny white caps on a massive searching sea. There's more, but those are the parts that speak to me the most. I, um, thank you. That was really thoughtful, Mateo. Thank you. Does anyone else want to say anything? Come on, Walter. I don't often speak about what I believe in. It seems so redundant with how I live. But death is one of those occasions where it's hard not to look inward. Our friend is gone. There's no afterlife, no second meeting, no God in heaven that is curating a perfect ending for us. So it's up to us. We are what lives on. The pain of loss inspires us to greater action than that. It's the good that comes. Humanity is what truly creates our world. We are the ones that judge things to be good or evil, joyful or mournful. Let us take responsibility for it. Let us remember what we have lost. Walter, are you part of the House of Enlightenment? I never knew that. Yes, well, I like to keep some things private. However, I know Barrett would have appreciated the same. No one else? Oh, terrible. Take some time for yourself, okay? Plenty of rooms to sit down in if you need to be alone for a while. We'll get through this. It might feel like everything's falling apart, but that's why we need to stick together. Thanks, Sarah. Anytime. Yes, I remember you, the wedding. I was so happy for both of you. I wish the circumstances of my visit were better. As do I. Thank you for coming. Unfortunately, this isn't the first constellation funeral I've been to. After 35 years, you say goodbye to a lot of friends. I hope you don't mind me saying, but I feel numb just thinking about it. I was the one who invited Barrett to join. Oh, he was so brilliant. Even if the rest of us couldn't always keep up. <laughs> you were the chair. What was Barrett like back then? Exactly the same as when you met him, I bet. Oh, smiles. Saying just the wrong thing at just the right time. 
You don't mentor someone like Barrett as much as you let him go and try to contain the damage later, eh? <laughs> Good chair before Sarah? Oh, yes. I was Sebastian Bench's protege. See if that gives you any idea of how long I was part of our little club. Were you and Barrett close? Ah, yes. I officiated his wedding. Ah, young Irvin. I told him he was signing up for a lot with Barrett, but he didn't care. I bet relationships in Constellation are still messy, aren't they? We're more of a family than an organization. All the formal lines bleed together. It makes the losses sting harder. But I hope it means the time you had together was all the more important. That's how I like to think of it, anyway. Barrett was married? He never mentioned that. I suppose he didn't want to talk about it after what happened. The colony war took so much from us all. Mm. I hope this is all okay. Between fixing things up and sending out messengers and getting all the paperwork done. It's not much. Good. I... Good. Sorry, if I talk any longer, I'm gonna start crying. Um... Could you excuse me? Yeah, 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 sorry. Hey, Bard, it's me. I miss you. I wish this hadn't happened. See out there in the stars. Oh, that's kind of... Jesus, I'm kind of getting up feeling a bit emotional. What the hell? Sarah, you realize he's dead because of you. <laughs> I legit saved you over him. Chat for a bit? Normally I hate talking to people at funerals, but well. Yeah, let's chat. You don't believe in the afterlife, do you? I mean, this might be the worst time to bring it up, but. I don't know, I guess I'll find out when I get yes. there. Won't we all? Well. I've taken up enough of your time. I tell. It almost feels wrong to be grieving. Selfish. No amount of tears will bring the dead back. It's okay to grieve, Mateo. It's just easier to feel guilty, if you'll excuse me. Of course. You go do what you have to do. I'll be okay. Ask I am it. told these types of gatherings are a sad occasion. That assumption appears to be correct. Can you feel emotion? No, I don't. I'm programmed to analyze sensory and biometric data so I can cross-reference. But I do not feel as you seem to imply. I appreciate you verifying my analysis, although I am certain my thanks will do little to improve your current psychological trauma. If you would like, though, I can add some consoling language to my programming. Consoling. Away. It will take some time to adapt, but it will be okay. How was that? Strangely helpful. I will note that feedback for later. People upstairs. Hi, Cora. Hi. Hey, you okay, Cora? No. And don't keep asking. I'm not gonna be, all right? Everything's worse now. Okay. So many people here. So many people saying goodbye. Uh, is this 
supposed to make everything okay? Make everyone feel better? No. But if we drift apart now, we won't be able to help each other. What's the point? It's not going to change anything. You're not alone. I just feel like I want to be a million light years away from everyone. I want to be alone for a while, okay? Okay. Hey. Everyone is in mourning. I understand, but I cannot quite share in their emotion. I have seen death. I have lost people I considered close. But this is... It is not the same. I cannot explain why. I am not sure I am making sense. Making perfect sense. There's no right way to feel. Thank you. Is it quieter in the lodge, or is it just me? It's quieter, yeah. You know. Death is a bastard. Comes for us all. You know, there's an old Aquila story about two pioneers who got lost trying to find a new frontier to settle. One of them takes ill. Clear he's not gonna make it. He turns to his partner and says, Don't bury me. Let the ground take what it's due. I'd rather be a ghost chasing after you than walk through the pearly gates knowing an eternity of loneliness until you get there. Sad story, huh? Yeah. You look after yourself. You too, Sam. Drink? You got time for a quick chat? Pour one out to the blackest sea? Pour one out for me, bud. Two old friends. May their ghosts go past the edges of space to the great beyond. Two old friends. Aye. Good talking to you. I got a lot of sad tales I'm running through my head right now. Gotta go back in very quickly and talk some. Return to the lodge will please the other members of Constellation. Is something amiss? So, we finally have all the answers. And yet, here I stand, feeling like I understand even less than I did before. This talk of the unity of a, a multiverse? Dead friends appearing again? It is all simply too much. The artifacts, the power, the starborn. <clears throat> it all seems to add up. Does it? Perhaps you find all this satisfactory, but I am afraid I do not. We must take the word of a murderer and follow him into the unity? What if it does nothing the starborn have claimed? No reason to lie to us at this point. How can you be so sure? They have thwarted us at every turn, and now they just give up? They killed Barrett to stop us from getting the artifacts. If they would back down now, then what was the point? What does that death mean? Why put us through any of this? It's okay to be scared. Even if everything the Starborn have said is true, if you pass into this unity and come out in... In some other universe, look at who they are, at what they have become. They have the faces and voices of people you know, but are nothing like them. Are you not at all worried that the same fate would befall you? That you would become someone unrecognizable to the rest of us? Now you sound like Sarah. But you are not wrong. I will do my best to assume the best, but you cannot blame me for preparing for the worst. We should get back to it. Now that we know what to work towards, 
There is no time to waste. All right, big up. What up, Sam? So we know the answer. Who are the Starborn? Well, we are. We're some cracked mirror version of ourselves. The whole thing seems unreal. Yeah. Uh, who's keeping track? You know, yeah, plus one for Team Sam. I was hoping the Starborn were somehow so advanced that their concerns were cosmic, significant. Instead, they're fighting over goddamn toys like we've been doing since caveman times. It's just a stupid game to them. And all their deaths and suffering, not relevant. And they seem to be just as messed up as the rest of us. So the unity is a gateway. A gateway to countless possibilities. And you have a chance to go through it. Imagine. I'd be lying if it doesn't sound like the adventure of a lifetime. I don't know if you're taking anyone with you. But if you take me, I got no idea if I'd go through or not. If it weren't for Cora, I'd jump on it in a heartbeat. Cora would probably shove both of us out of the way and dive in first. Or an explorer, that girl. I can't say I blame you. I'm not sure everyone in Constellation wouldn't make that leap, though. I know it's your decision who to work with, but you gotta remember that the Hunter murdered our friend. Sure, the Emissary may be a version of Barrett, but he's not our Barrett. But that doesn't make what the Hunter did right, not by a long shot. If the Starborn are party crashers from different universes, I'd side with the one that's not willing to murder innocents to win. On the same page about the hunter. I, well, that's a fair point. My head is still spinning. Maybe after a few nights sleep, it'll be clear. Take care. All right.